just updated your game just to find out that your game is not working properly, it isn't even loading, it shows you different sorts of errors, or maybe it's just acting weirdly and it's glitched, I have the right solution for you, my friend. There are basically two solutions for you. If you are a CC or mod sims player, those errors might be tied to the script mods that you are using. I'm not talking about CC, we are mainly and solely talking about script mods, which are the files that end in TS4 script. If you happen to have some of those inside your documents, electronic cards, the Sims 4 and then mods folder, make sure you take them out to just delete those TS4 script files and then go back into your the Sims 4 folder and delete this local pump cache package file as well. Just because this will get rid of any cache that is related to your game or to your mod that may have been accumulated over time. The script mods thingy, those are causing you issues because those are no longer compatible with your game version. You have just updated your game and those won't work together, okay? So we gotta be patient a little bit, just a tiny bit of patience until the modders release the latest version for your mods that you were using. And by the way, you guys, just a little tip. If your game is still not working, you can also type in the names of the mods that you've just deleted and see if there are any remaining bits of those mods because some mods will also contain some files that end in that package so be aware of those and delete those ones as well by the way many simmers have said to me multiple times in my comments that the main reason why their game is not working is that they were using mods that were out of date and they referred specifically to adult mods so if you happen to use those mods make sure you get rid of those as well because those might be the cause of your issues just get rid of all of your script mods okay leave the cc aside because those for the most part will work just fine now for the players that don't use cc or mods at all first of all you want to back up your whole entire folder and by the way this can be applicable to the mods and cc players as well you just gotta make a backup of your ea folder from time to time just to make sure that your save files and your families and your mods are safe and good to go so i highly suggest that you you know just copy and paste your whole electronic arts folder somewhere else on your computer it should be a different location than your documents folder just for the record and then once you are sure that all of your files have been copied like if those two folders have the very same size you have successfully backed up your whole entire folder and once you have done that you can rename your electronic arts folder in electronic arts old so this is going to reset our folder and by default our game there is no reason to be scared of this thing because if you do it the right way you won't have to worry about anything once you rename that folder you can open up your game and your game should run flawlessly but you might notice that there is no load game option and that is because we've just reset your game and your electronic arts folder you really gotta exit your game straight away and go into your brand new electronic arts folder you should notice by now that a new folder has been generated within your documents and yes of course it is empty but what we are going to handle right now is you know just putting back all of your files so that you can enjoy your good old families within this new fresh clean game or folder that we've just created. To get your content back, you just gotta head into your electronic arts folder, The Sims 4, and the content that you really wanna copy is your saves files, your tray files, and your screenshots, as well as your CC that is included within your mods folder. Please notice that I have said CC. Only CC do not copy any of your script mods because those will mess up your game. I just really want to make this clear for everyone. So you got to go into your saves folder, like do not copy the whole entire folder. Just go into your old saves folder, hit control A or command A to select all of your files, right click on them, 
copy and then you should head back to your documents, new electronic arts folder, the Sims 4 and then saves. We need to copy the files, not the folder itself. So I truly hope that makes sense and the same thing needs to be done with your tray and your screenshots folders. I hope that you get that the tray files shouldn't go into your screenshots folder or vice versa because this is not how it's supposed to work. Like each and every file that is included within your tray folder should go into the very same new empty tray folder. So your saves should go into your new saves folder, your tray into your new tray folder and your screenshots into your new screenshots folder. Folder. You might be asking yourself, what do I do with this electronic arts folder? Of course you can delete it, but once again, please check very, very carefully if you have copied all of your families, all of your saves, all of your files, just because we don't want to encounter any other problems in the long term. Just check the number of files that each folder has or the size of that specific folder. If you liked this type of content, please make sure to subscribe, like, comment, all that good jazz, hit the notification bell to be notified whenever I'm uploading a new video because it truly, truly helps me a lot. Thank you so much and I'll see you next time with a brand new, exciting and helpful video for you. Have an awesome day just like you. Bye guys.